Marco plays those games. Okay, my friends, it's Wednesday night in Ivrea. The museum is closed, but I have the honor to, to access here, okay? And this evening I would like to show you a very special video with the Olivetti N24. I would like to make a professional flight with Microsoft Flight Simulator here. And my friends, can you believe that behind me in this room there is the man that created the N24 in 1983 at Cupertino here? This guy is Alessandro Graciotti, my friends. And, uh, out there, Gastone Garziera is the man that created the first personal computer in history. That's here, the program 101. Incredible. Okay, my friends, let's start from the M24 here. This is one of the very first version with the double flop is okay. Anyway, in this uh, box was installed an hard disk later. So in this box, there is an hard disk. And here, my friends, the mouse, this is a very piece of history. The Olivetti's mouse for the M24 here with the, this connector. There's written Olivetti also on the connector here, okay? Uh, the connector is here on the keyboard. Uh, here, my friends, okay? And, uh, and well, the M24 came out with two keyboards. Uh, this one is the keyboard one and is IBM compatible, as you can see here, QWERTY with the function K on the left, okay? Here we can see there is an IBM PC, okay? Here the keyboard, okay, as you can see, this is the international layout, QWERTY. But here inside the laboratory, we can see that there is a keyboard two with the function K on the top, okay? And as you can see, the keyboard is Q, Z, E, in the Italian style, okay? With the monitor, and this version is a later with an hard disk, okay? Over the floppy. Okay, my friends, before to start the professional fly with Fly Simulator, there's a surprise for you. And now it's checking for the fixed disk that's inside. Now the fixed disk was checked. The flop is booting, my friends. Wow, my friends. King's Quest 1 1984 on M24. Okay, now pressing ask, we go on RGB mode. Okay, here we are. Uh, Let's press the space bar and we go inside. Wow. Okay. Here, Sir Graham, my friends. This monitor is not working properly fine. Uh, it has uh, a lot of years, my friends. Also, the keyboard is a bit uh, stuck. I have to clean it. Now we are entering the castle. My friends, history at the museum, Tuesday night in Ivrea, North Italy, the capital of the European electronic of the 80s, okay. If I'm not wrong, Bow King, yes. When you bow to King Edward, his pleased smile warms you. Okay, okay, my friends. Wonderful.
Okay, my friends, very, very bad surprise at the museum. I, I didn't uh, plug uh, correctly the video camera to the power line, so the battery died and the camera stopped to record, my friends. <laughs> well, I didn't notice that. In fact, I have proceeded with my video. I did uh, the professional fly with Microsoft Fly Simulator. And well, my friends, so I'm very sorry that I've missed that record. Also because my friends Alessandro Graciotti joined me during the fly and explained a lot of very interesting things about his experience back in 1983 when he was creating the Olivetti N24, the first uh, IBM compatible PC by Olivetti, okay, my friends. And uh, Alessandro knows perfectly Microsoft Flight Simulator because, as I told you several times, my friends, Microsoft Flight Simulator was one of the three most important programs uh, that uh, defined the IBM compatibility of a PC in the early 80s, okay, my friends. So, uh, you, you had to run these free programs if you wanted to be an IBM compatible PC, okay? And uh, he told me that it was very challenging, but they did a great job, my friends, but because the Olivetti M24 is one of the, of the very first full 100% IBM compatible, okay? And uh, consider also, my friends, that the Olivetti uh, chose to, to use uh, the CPU 8086 8 megahertz instead of the 8088 of the IBM PC for the 7 megahertz, my friends. So there was also that important difference, okay? And here we are with my original copy of Microsoft Fly Simulator 2.12, my friends, that has an incredible story. I found this, this copy at my parents' home and, um, uh, as you know, my friends, my father was an electronic repairer uh, and worked for Olivetti, okay? Um, anyway, my friends, I will teach you this story in the next uh, videos, okay? Uh, here there are a lot of interesting things. Microsoft Flight Simulator 1, 2 are very, very professional uh, simulators, okay? Ah, here there is the um, uh, keyboard layout. Uh, this one is for the PC Junior. And, uh, okay, here there is the, uh, the le keyboard layout of the PC, okay? And uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, my friends, was designed for, for this kind of keyboard, okay? As you can see, with the function keys on the left, it's very comfortable, this configuration, to play Microsoft Flight Simulator, because with your left hand, you are, uh, it's easy to manage the throttle here, this vertical line of the pair function keys, F2, F4, F6, F8, okay? The throttle, F2, maximum power, F10, cut the power, okay? And uh, here on the left side, uh, there are the flaps, uh, extract, retract, okay, the, the ampere function case, F1, F3, okay. <laughs> Obviously, my friends, with the function case on the top, uh, it becomes more difficult because you have pa ampere, pair, ampere, okay, so you have to find the throttle and the flaps, uh, uh, it's more difficult. Um, and... Uh, Yes, as I was saying, very complete simulator. Here there are some navigation charts with the VOR uh, frequencies, okay? At the end there are the airport details, ILS localizer uh, frequency, my friends, very, very professional. And I promise you, my friends, that uh, I will... Um, uh, I will make this professional flight as soon as possible, okay, my friends. And, and, and sorry, I did very few videos for um, for YouTube in this last period. I'm looking for a new house and I have not enough time. So for this reason, my friends, I ask you to join me on uh, on Facebook where I am more present uh, with a lot of pictures uh, also short gaming session uh, we can talk together my friends so I wait for you on my Facebook page Marco plays those games okay and here there is the, the floppy my friends look here unbelievable uh, reference card the registration card there is everything okay my friends I hope you have enjoyed this video anyway and uh, <laughs> So, uh, see you the next time and uh, remember to join me on Facebook uh, by my great friends.